So this is how you find the area of a regular pentagon. And quite frankly, you could apply this to any polygon. We just happen to choose pentagon for all these. There's three types of problems. The first type of problem is find the area if the apothem is 19 feet. So the apothem is 19. Remember the apothem goes straight down. Let me change colors here to indicate. The apothem goes straight down, okay, from the center to the side. Whoops. From the center to the side, and it's always perpendicular, makes a right angle. So 19 is that side right there. This angle is 54. Um, we'll get more into how to find that angle um, maybe a little bit later. But for right now, what you need to know is that this angle is always going to be 54. Okay? Now, because our area formula is one-half times the apothem times the perimeter, okay, we already know what the apothem is. The apothem is 19, so we can plug 19 in for apothem right away because we know that. We have to find the perimeter. So to do that, okay, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to take this little right triangle right here, okay, and by the way, if I drew the apothem into all these triangles, okay, we would have 10 total triangles. Okay? Remember that. So we come back here. All right? So what we need to do is we need to find the length of this side. Okay? Because this side is half the side length of the pentagon. And we're trying to find perimeter, so that's important. Now, we have to use trig. So we're back to Sokotoa. So here's 54. 19 is opposite. X is adjacent. So we're going to use tangent. So the tangent of 54 equals opposite over adjacent. Now, the trick we learned, and you probably don't remember it, but here we go. A little reminder. Variables on the bottom, you divide 19 by tangent 54. Okay, so that comes out to be approximately 13.8. Okay, round to the nearest tenth. So that means that this side is 13.8, okay? So that means that the side length is 13.8 times 2. So 13.8 times 2, okay, is 20... 7.6, I believe. Now the perimeter, the perimeter is 27.6 times 5, because there's 5 sides. Boy, I wish I had a calculator right now. I wish I had a calculator. We'll do it old school. Why not? 30, 38, 3, 10, 13, it's 138. So the perimeter is 138. Okay, now let's go back. Now we know what P is. 1 half times 19 times 138. We know what P is now. Okay, now they're really going to make me use the calculator. I tried to, man, I'll tell you what. Teaching ain't everything it's uh, cut out to be, kids. Divided by 2. So you wind up getting 1,311, what's our unit here, feet squared. Okay? So that's our answer. So that's what you do when you have the apothem. Now, what happens when you have a side length? Okay, well, if you know the side length, you can find the perimeter right away. 
each side is 3, so 5 times 3 is 15. So right now my area is 1 half times A times, fifth, whoops, times 15. So we have to find A this time. Well, the apothem, let me draw this in, the apothem cuts this side in half. So the two little segments here are congruent to each other. So this is 1.5. So we're going to take this triangle and we're going to zoom in. Okay? So, again, we have the same situation. Basically, guys, when you do the trig here, you're going to be doing tangent every single time. Okay? No matter what you're given. So I've got tan 54 equals A over 1.5. Okay, now this time the variable's on top. When the variable's on top, you're going to do 1.5 times tangent 54. Do it in that order. Do it in that order. Okay, so 1.5 times tangent 54 is approximately, I should use the squigglies, 2.1. So there's my apothem. Oops. So my, here we go, one, one half times 2.1 times 15. So, handy dandy calculator in my phone, because my battery's dead in my other calculator. 0. 0.5 times 2.1 times 15. Okay, so you're going to get 15.75 millimeters squared. You want to round that to 15.8, you can certainly do that. Okay, last problem. Find the area when the perimeter is 75. Okay, so area equals one-half apothem times perimeter. Well, I know what the perimeter is. Seventy-five. But how do you find the length of one side? You find the length of one side by taking the perimeter and dividing by the number of sides. So this is the length of one side. So here's fifteen. Your apothem cuts it in half. So that 15 becomes 7.5, and now we have our triangle. Again, tangent 54 equals opposite is A, adjacent is 7.5, variables on top again, so 7.5 times tan 54. So if I do that, I get approximately 10.3. So that's our apothem. So can we come back? 1 half times 10.3 times 75. Back to handy dandy calculator. Because no, I can't do this in my head. Okay, you're going to get about 386 point two five uh, centimeters squared okay and you ground that to 386.3 if you want to all right so there's three types of problems okay the first one we talked about given the apothem the second one they gave us a side length and the third one they gave us the perimeter okay and those are the types of problems you're gonna have to know how to do and guys it's pentagons all the shapes are going to be pentagons so you don't have to worry about that Okay, don't worry about changing to hexagons or whatever. They're all going to be pentagons, so use this video and use what you wrote down.